Hey there! Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be focusing on the quicksort using the Lomuto partitioning scheme. Let's start with what is a quicksort. Similar to the merge sort, the quicksort is also a divide and conquer algorithm. The idea is to have a pivot. The pivot can be anything from the first element in the array, the last element, or even the median. However, in this video, we'll just use the last element as the pivot. For the Lemuto partitioning scheme, the idea is to start from the beginning of the array. If there's an element that is larger than the pivot, we save that element and then find the next element that is smaller than the pivot before swapping them, as you can see in the animation here. Before we start writing down the pseudocode, let's jot down a few points. First, we'll use the last element as the pivot. Then we partition according to the pivot. Then lastly, we sort each partition using the quick sort on the left partition and the right partition. Now let's actually write this down in pseudocode. First, set the pivot to the last element. For the Lomuto partitioning scheme, we need two pointers. One pointer is going to be used to find the element that is smaller than the pivot, and the other is going to be used to keep track of the element that is larger than the pivot. The first pointer here is going to be increment each iteration, so we can simply use a for loop, so for each element i. Now for the second pointer, we are going to use it to keep track of the elements that are larger than the pivot. So we can do this by setting up another pointer and just let's call this j and we'll set it to low. Then inside here we compare if element i is less than or equal to pivot. If it is, then we swap the element at i and j. Because j is going to be the element that is larger than the pivot, while i is going to be the one that is smaller. After swapping them, we then increment j by 1. Now, after this loop is over, we want to move the pivot to the position between the two partitions. So we can do this by swapping the elements i with element j. We're swapping with j in here because by the end of this loop, j is going to be pointing to the element that is larger than or equals to pivot. Then lastly, we sort each partition using the quick sort on the left partition and the right partition. Now let's try coding this up. I'm just going to code this up in Python as usual, and here I'm going to have a function called Lomuto for a quick sort Lomuto partitioning scheme, and it's going to take in three variables, the array r, the lower bound low, and the higher bound high. First, we need a pivot, so pivot equals to array at high, or basically the last element in each partition. Next, we need to initialize the second pointer, j equals to low. Then the first pointer is going to be incrementing every iteration, so for i in range low to high. Now that we have all the variables ready, inside here, we'll check if the current element is smaller than the pivot or not. So if array at i is less than or equals to pivot. So if it is true, we're going to swap array at i and array at j. And this kind of syntax is actually exclusive for Python. If you write this in another language, you can do it by simply having another temporary variable and swap them. After we swap them, we increment j by 1. Then by the end of this loop, we have to swap the pivot to the position between the left and the right partition. Next, we can simply do a quick sort on the left partition and the right partition here. The left partition is going to be from low to j minus 1, and then the right partition is going to be from j plus 1 to high. Before we finish this off, we need a base case to tell the program to stop calling itself. We would want to stop the loop when the pointer crosses each other, or basically when low is larger than or equals to high. And when that happens, we simply return. I'll just give it a random array. and a sorted array. For the time complexity of this algorithm, the best case and the average case is an O and log n. If you want me to explain where this log n comes from, please comment down below and I'll consider creating another video for that. However, contradicting to its name, the worst case is actually an O n squared. 
and what the worst case is depends on how you choose the pivot. If the pivot is chosen from the rightmost of the array, the worst case is going to be the reverse array. While if the pivot is the leftmost element in the array, the worst case is going to be a sorted array. Why? Let's see an illustration here. If the pivot is the rightmost element, when we partition the array, we'll be getting two partitions one of size n minus 1 and the other of size 0. When we repeat this partitioning process until low is larger than high, we're basically going to do this n times and inside each iteration, i and j are looking through all the elements which is another n iteration. Therefore, the time complexity is an o n squared. And that is all for today's video. I hope you find this video useful. If you like this video, check out this playlist of algorithms that I've created. See you again next time. Bye!